Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have so many new fragrances to share with you, so we will be unboxing everything together and then I will share my first impressions review. And most of these are new launches for 2023, which is always really exciting. A lot of them were sent to me complimentary and then I have an incredibly fabulous purchase to share at the end. Full disclosure, it's not ideal, but I am not back to 100% health just yet. Sadly, almost two weeks ago now, I came down with a really terrible head cold. The works, stuffy nose, runny nose, and then it progressively turned into sore throats. I have gotten a lot better. For a while, I couldn't really smell or taste anything, so today I'm just gonna do the best I can. First up, we have a new launch from Room 1015. This is the brand that created the iconic Cherry Punk fragrance, which I know has been all over YouTube. It's one of my favorites as well. This is their new Sonic Flower Eau de Parfum. It comes in this bright peachy orange box. It sounds like it's going to be ideal for spring summer. Sonic Flower is a floral woody musk fragrance with keynotes of carrot seeds, pink pepper, Oris, Jasmine, Ambroxan, Cashmere, and Musk. I love the sound of those notes. The bottle sort of reminds me of La Perla Luminous, that feel, and the notes almost remind me of Tom Ford Sole Neige, which is a really beautiful, soft fragrance. So let's see. Hopefully this nose will work. Oh, yeah, it is a little powdery, musky. Ooh, a little sweetness. It's smooth and lightly floral. It smells dainty. It smells very delicate, but so pretty. Definitely a daytime fragrance, a spring, summer. Yeah, it's really nice. My nose is still stuffed. I'm starting to question whether or not this was a good idea, but I just could not wait. I've been waiting for too long to smell these. I'm probably only operating at about 50% here, but I think I really love this. It's my style of fragrance. It's pretty, it's feminine, it's soft. It's very like, hmm, prim, proper. This is one that I will have to try on the skin, but even just smelling it on the blotter, I know it's really nice, fresh. If you like a light, fresh floral, something that isn't too sickeningly sweet jasmine maybe you don't really like rose or the more traditional floral notes i think you'll really like this also i would put this in the same category as a la perla luminous if you've tried that fragrance one of my favorites it's beautiful but it has that smooth woodiness but still very feminine i picture a sundress whenever i smell this fragrance that is what comes to mind also a day outside like a boat day a hike or a, some sort of event where you're going to be maybe by the beach bicycling picnics family day outside some sort of occasion where you're going to be outdoors and you want something a little bit lighter so pretty we're off to a great start it would be so funny to try these again in a week when my nose is hopefully feeling 100% better and see if I feel completely different about them. But I don't think so. I mean, I can definitely smell it on the blotter and it's really nice. Next, I have two fragrances here from Un Nuit Nomad, which has become one of my favorite niche brands. They carry Jardin de Misva, which is one of my favorites. This is a new launch, it's Sugar Leather. And then this one is not new, it's new to me and it sounds incredible. It's Murmur de Dieu. I believe this is one of their best-selling fragrances and just based on the notes, I think this is going to be one of my favorite fragrances for summer. So let's try Sugar Leather first since this is the new launch. Sugar Leather is described as a piece of leather covered in white sand and caramelized by the sun, a decadent, racy, spicy fragrance. Keynotes include cinnamon, amorous, leather, caramel, and labdanum. Could be better for fall winter. I don't know if this is going to be a good summer fragrance for Miami. Based on the juice, it looks like it's going to be a bit deeper, a bit moodier, but still sounds really nice. I still love all of those notes. So let's see. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Incredible. Delicious. Yeah, it's a little leathery, but I'm picking up more of the sugar and it's not overly sweet. It's not a sickeningly sweet sugar. It truly is kind of a caramel, a warm yumminess. Ooh, 
like baked goods, deliciousness, makes your mouth water, but won't give you a headache, not cloying. Yum. Yum is the first thing that comes to mind. I want a body wash. I want a body lotion, a hair mist. I just want to douse myself in this. I knew it sounded really good, but I did not think it was going to be this good. And you know why? Because so many fragrances like this or with similar notes or have leather in the name, they're unisex, unisex, but I always find them to lean so incredibly masculine and just be so heavy. And yes, anybody can wear anything they want, but I just don't typically love that style of fragrance on me. This is the type of fragrance that I want to wear. I want to wear this all the time. It smells really good. And I actually think this is not too heavy and it really isn't too fall winter. Surprisingly, I think this is kind of an anytime gourmand. This could be just date night. It smells like caramel. It's so elegant. That leathery note gives it a really elevated, luxurious feel. Like I could imagine getting really dressed up, going out for a night on the town in a really fancy luxury car. You smell the leather of the seats, the leather of the handbag, smooth, moisturized skin, and then this yummy, warm, caramel drizzle of a fragrance. It's very seductive. It's sexy. I really love sugar leather. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. I was honestly thinking that the other fragrance was going to be my favorite of the two, but now I'm thinking this is going to be really tough to beat. I can't wait until my nose is working properly. I don't know the next time I will have a date night, but whenever it is, this is going to be my fragrance of the evening. No question. I'm so tempted to spritz this all in my hair. I'm not going to do it because we have other fragrances to try, but wow. I am coming back to this. Murmur des Dieux is described as an exotic, singular, and extremely spiritual perfume. Key notes include Frangipani Absolu, Vanilla, Musks, Elemi, and Benzoin Resinoid. This sounds like more of a traditional floral fragrance for spring-summer, so let's see. I have a feeling it's going to be really special though. Let's see. Wow. Ooh. Yum. The frangipani is so nice. It's like a tropical floral explosion. And it is pretty singular. I mean, there you could tell there are other things going on, but that's really what shines through. You don't have competing notes. Like the sugar leather really is like sweetness of caramel and leather combined. This is just frangipani. It's very warm, solar. It, I would put this in the same category as Lust for Sun from Juliet Has a Gun. Not that they smell the same, but definitely the the same feel, the same vibe. You would wear them for the same occasion. And then it's very bright, solar, floral. It just reminds you or transports you of being by the water, the beach, somewhere tropical, summertime, relaxing. It almost smells a little bit like suntan lotion, tanning oil, like tropical skin. Do you know what I mean? Like I just think of like being in a bikini, like showing skin, applying body oil, bronze skin, glowing skin is what comes to mind whenever I smell this. It's sensual, but not too heavy, sexy, sweet. I think this is a really good daytime or evening fragrance, actually. I would probably wear this daytime. I know I've smelled frangipani in other fragrances, but I don't know if I've ever smelled it in quite this way. Another fragrance I would compare it to, and again, doesn't smell the same, but maybe captures the same energy, would be Dama Bianca. They're so different, but I would put them in the same category. I would wear them for the same occasion. I think it exudes that summery, tropical princess queen vibe. I see floral goddess in a flower crown in Hawaii is what comes to mind whenever I smell this. It's very pretty. If you love floral fragrances, but you like the idea of something kind of tropical, but not coconut, I think this is a really, really beautiful fragrance. It has a strength, a power to it, even though it's a bit softer. It's so feminine. 
and really beautiful. I'm impressed. I love both of these fragrances. Right in time for warmer weather, we have some new launches from Skylar. They came out with, I think, Boardwalk Skies, which is a cotton candy fragrance. I don't have that one, but this is another one of their new launches. It's Lime Sands. It has lime, sea salt, and coconut water. This sounds like several other fragrances that I know and love, so I'm excited to try it. It says, soak in the tropic sun as the sea breeze mists your skin. Bright and zesty lime carries you away to white sandy shores to calm your mind and re invigorate your perspective. Something I like is that the back of the box tells you what fragrances it layers well with. So it says Pink Canyon and Isle Escape. I've never tried Isle Escape. I've definitely tried Pink Canyon. It has pink grapefruit. Makes sense. It's another citrusy, zesty type of fragrance. Well, let's see. This sounds like a nice daytime fragrance. I don't trust my nose. <laughs> I feel like I need to try this again. It's a lot more coconut than I expected. And the lime, I mean, it goes away really quickly. Initially, it's like, whoa, lime zest. Yeah, it hits you like lime. And it's a little bit artificial cleaning materials initially, but since it goes away so quickly, then you're left with the coconut. It's definitely pretty. It's not a bad fragrance. I don't know if I love it and it's really hard to tell right now because my nose is still a little bit stuffed. It doesn't smell like one thing. Like I can smell a little lime, I can smell a little coconut, I can smell like a little sea salt, but it, for whatever reason in my nose, it's almost like the notes are completely separate, separate, and I don't smell one cohesive fragrance. It's very weird. Citrus fragrances can be funny that way. I usually love a lime coconut, like Sun Saint comes to mind from Pinrose, one of my all-time favorites. It's so beautiful. It also reminds me a little bit of, is it another 13? This doesn't have that sandalwood woody finish. It's just very coconut and lime. And I'm a little bit on the fence about this one. I do like it. I don't know if this is something that I'm gonna grab. You know, I don't, I don't know if I like it enough to grab this and wear this. Like, would I grab this over some of the other fragrances or any of the other fragrances in my collection? I don't know. It smells a bit soapy to me right now, and I don't know if that's just because my nose is playing tricks on me, or if it does have a little bit of a soapiness. It changes so quickly that lime really dissipates fast and you're left with the coconut, so maybe on the skin I would really like it. And honestly, you have to try the fragrance on the skin because when you're wearing a fragrance throughout the day, it's not gonna matter how it smells on the blotter card, it matters how it smells on you. I don't want to be too quick to judge. I'm just not sure it's for me. I like, I smell this and I think it would be an incredible candle or a room mist or maybe even like a body splash, but I don't know if I would wear this as my fragrance for the day, like my eau de parfum. Maison Louis Marie is another clean at Sephora fragrance brand and this is their new number 13 Nouvelle Vague. I have really high hopes for this fragrance because the notes sound incredible. It has coconut, fig. I love fig, especially for summer. So this I am really excited to try. They sent over a little sample and then the roller ball. It's meant to transport you to spring on the Italian coast. It captures an uplifting citrus accord, a sheer floral bouquet, and coconut wrapped with Tuscan fig, agave, tonka, and golden woods. And it's categorized as a fresh solar fragrance. I am excited. Okay, let's see. smell the fig, I smell the amber, a little coconut in there. It reminds me a little bit of the Florist London fragrance I love so much, Mulberry Fig. I think this is a bit spicier than Mulberry Fig. I almost think this is a little bit more fall winter. I think the warmth from the amber and the sweetness from the fig, it makes it very delicious, a little bit gourmand. I wouldn't really say this is a fresh solar fragrance. It's not really the mood that I get. Could be my stuffed nose. I really like this. It smells incredible. 
definitely more evening, I would say. But yeah, a, an adventurous, daydreamy evening, a date night. I think it's very pretty. The more I smell it, the more I'm falling in love with it. I love coconut and I love fig. So the combination together just makes sense. And a warm amber finish, I mean, that sounds ideal. I'm just trying to picture myself wearing this. Where am I going? What am I wearing? You know, in real life, where would I wear this fragrance? I think I still need to piece it together, but it's really nice. If you like coconut and you like fig, I highly recommend trying this. I think you would love it. Next, we have some newness from the House of Creed. It is always a good day when I receive a package from Creed, not just because the packaging is exquisite, but the fragrances are amazing, and I don't think anyone does attention to detail quite like they do. Everything is always wrapped to perfection. Beautiful box. Inside, I believe this is their new reimagined spring flower fragrance. So spring flower isn't technically new, but it has new packaging. I thought it might be in the bag. So this is a little bag little dust cover for my fragrance. I love this, especially for travel. Not that I would be traveling with my full-size fragrance, but I think it's a nice little keepsake. Spring flower is described as a playful, unapologetic celebration of the feminine. It's fruity, floral, with keynotes of succulent peach, jasmine, white flowers, sensual ambergris, and musk. And I know I've smelled this before. It would be criminal for me not to. I know I've tried this, but I don't really remember it. I don't recall how I felt about it. I feel like I've always really liked it and it's probably been on my list. But you know, a Creed fragrance is a very special purchase. So I have a growing list of fragrances. Ooh, powerful mister. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is a true, traditional, just classic floral. It smells like walking through a garden. It's clean, it's a little bit sweet, it's fresh. It smells like a fresh bouquet, like fresh cut flowers. Almost like invigorating shampoo. Like a fancy shampoo, but in the best way possible. It's a little zesty, energizing. It does have kind of a ferocity to it. It's really pretty. Ooh. And as it dries down, it gets a little bit softer. But it's beautiful. This is the perfect floral. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. It reminds me a little bit of maybe the sister or the cousin to Windflowers, which I also really like. But I would say Spring Flower is a little bit more classic. I absolutely love this. So beautiful. And I actually think the packaging is better. I like this packaging a little bit more than the previous packaging. So stunning from Creed. Last but certainly not least, my incredibly fabulous purchase from Chanel. Who else? I was so excited when I saw this available on the website and I think it will be met with mixed feelings for good reason, but we will talk about it as soon as I show you. So a while back, they had an exclusive coffret set. And it sold out, and it was always limited edition, exclusive, but it was always just kind of there on the website. I never thought it was actually going anywhere. And then a couple years ago, sure enough, it disappeared. They took it off the website, and then it was not something you could purchase anymore. Well, they came out with a new version of the Coffret set. Now, I love the exclusive line. I already have a dedicated video to the exclusives, but I think I will have to do an update with this new Cofret set because it is something special. And I believe this has a newer version. It probably has mostly the same things, but they also included a sample of the body oil in here. I hear some rattling. It's making me nervous. But this is the new exclusive de Chanel Cofret. The previous one they had was a little bit more square. It actually looked more like my Celine set. So it was maybe half this size and then a little bit taller. But this one is a little bit longer and thin. Now the reason why I said this might be met with mixed feelings is because if you live near a boutique, you can get the little samples 
as gifts, as samples. They just give them away. And I think if you live near a boutique, you're probably kind of spoiled and you don't realize that most people don't really have access to the exclusive line. So even though I have plenty of these little samples and I truly did not necessarily need to purchase this, I would just much rather have the set, have all of my little mini fragrances live here in their little home. And I think it is so cute. And as soon as I saw it, I knew, okay, I'm adding that to cart. Or actually I picked it up at the boutique. I texted my essay and I said, do you have this? I need it because I didn't want the same thing to happen to me that happened the last time, which was I waited too long and then it disappeared. Oh no, they're all protected. Ooh, it's even better than I expected. So you open it up, it says Les Exclusives de Chanel. And then, oh no. There's some movement down there, <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. I might need to play around with the order again. Ooh, and then the front folds down you can see them. I love how these just sit perfectly displayed. You have two rows and they have this beautiful little box. It comes with Eau de Cologne, number 22, Jersey, number 18, Boy, Bel Respiro, Gardenia, my personal favorite, Bois des Iles, Sycamore, Coromandel, La Pazza, Beige, 31 Rue Cambon, 1932-1957, Le Lion de Chanel, so that's the new one that wouldn't have been included in the first set. Queer de Russi, Misia, and then the Gentle Oil for Hair and Body is all included. So I actually probably lucked out. It's probably a good thing that I waited because I do really like Le Lion. Not enough to purchase a full-size bottle, but I love having the little mini version and having my complete Cofret set. This is now available on Chanel.com and it is so incredible for fragrance lovers, for Chanel lovers, for lovers of the exclusive fragrance line, you get one of everything. There are 19 bottles and they are 4 ml. It's actually a pretty good little size. If you have a small atomizer or a small travel spray that's refillable, you could easily just empty these bottles into your little atomizer with the spray because these little bottles don't have the spray. I'm so excited. I need to find a place. I don't really have much room, but I need to find a place to display this along with all of my fragrances. So beautiful. I love sample sets, discovery kits, but a cofret set like this, this is something that you're going to want to display. I'm not going to go through and open up each one because I've already done that in a video, but it would just take too long. There are 19 fragrances inside here, but I will save that for a future video. I'll show you everything that's inside. It's just so perfectly compact. And this would make an incredible gift as well. Definitely a great gift for any fragrance lover. The final, final thing I'm going to share with you for today's video is an update. I wanted to briefly talk about this new Tom Ford fragrance. This is Soleil de Feu. And I purchased this during Sephora savings event, of course, perfect time to purchase any expensive fragrances. And I was kind of on the fence about it at first. I was like, mm, kind of like it, but I don't know if it's something that I love that I'm going to wear. I see this as more of a masculine fragrance, maybe something my husband would like. I stand by liking it and I think it's not a bad fragrance. I think it's really nice. It's definitely not for me and I don't think my husband will love it and appreciate it enough to really justify keeping it. So I'm actually going to return this fragrance. I typically like to just hold on to new fragrances anyways. That way when I do my end of the year roundup, you know, I have the fragrance bottle to at least show you. But these fragrances are so expensive. I would hate to just let it sit on the shelf. Instead, I'm going to do the responsible thing and I am going to return it. I tried it the next day. I tried this, I tried the Coco Fleur from Net the, uh, the following day. Those are the two fragrances that I blind bought during the savings event. It's just, it's not for me. I wish that I loved it more than I actually do and I found, found myself trying to convince myself that I liked it. And I sprayed it a couple times in this room on my skin. I walked away, came back a couple hours later and I actually thought to myself, something smells really bad in here. 
and I was kind of looking for the fragrance and looking for what was what smelled not very nice and I actually think it was this and it's not because it smelled bad it's just it smells like like a deep hearty wood is really what's left it's not very pleasant definitely wouldn't make a good room spray so as much as I had high hopes for this fragrance and it is a little bit Christmassy and a little spicy and a little cinnamon it's way too masculine and woody for me to hold on to it she's going back and that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.